problem. Get an ornithopter. Now that the battle begins now. Yes! Yes! Ornithopter! Another ornithopter, please! Okay. I mean, that would have been a little bit good if we just... If we just drew it there, that would have been... What would you prefer? A Satori moment. A moment of complete bliss and enlightenment. Or... A Satoru moment of Magic the Gathering Arena. Well, you're getting this Satoru moment no matter what. Because you're playing Satoru the Infiltrator. And this guy is just perfect again. Another perfect card for Ornithop the deck. I think that uh, Wizards are secretly just trying to make the Ornithop the deck a real... I mean, it's all, it's already good. We've concluded the last time. It's already good. But that's just even better with this guy. So this guy says the following. When he or one or more non-token creatures enter the battlefield under your control, if none of them were cast or no mana was spent to cast them, draw a card. Of course, Ornithopter doesn't cost any mana, so we get a lot of them, which means we draw a lot of cards, which means we play more Ornithopters and more Ornithopters and draw more cards, more Ornithopters and draw more cards. And how do we buff them? Well, if you weren't here last time, we have important Thopterist, which produces more Thopters and buff the Thopters. And we also have Mirror Box, of course, since all we have is Ornithopter. This gives, let's see here, each non-token creature control gets plus one, plus one for each other creature control with the same name. We can also pick up the Mirror Box with the Word of Invention. And then we just have everything, we just clones the Ornithopter. So we have, uh, let's see, Snowboard Simulacra can create X Ornithopters. We target X targets and create X uh, copies of them. Sinister Reflection is probably the best card actually in the deck. You conjure a duplicate of each of up to two target non-token creatures, and often actually by turn two we will have two Ornithopters down already, which means that we immediately get two more Ornithopters, and then if we slam like a mirror box or something, it's almost, it's not lethal, but it's, it's close. <laughs> close enough, you know. Holographic Double can just double down as another Ornithopter. Thunder's Price, we can play this for one and get the Ornithopter, or we can play it for or we can play it for zero, get the Ornithopter, if we pay one mass. Or we can actually pay two and then we get the Plunderer's Prize back in the hand. But I always forget to do this, but they can do this. And you can feel free to write in the comment section whenever I miss doing this. Anyways, uh, we're gonna jump into the games. So I had this Satoru moment today. I wasn't enlightened. I was just playing Satoru here on the Magic the Gathering uh, arena. Uh, this hand is horrible. I love the Plunder Spice, Ornithopter, Sinister. Unfortunately, no Satoru, but I'm sure he's gonna show up, right? Right? Let's see it. Water Grave can go, and uh, I mean, this is pretty much as good as it gets, I think. <laughs> we got another Ornithopter. That's insane. That's insane. That's insane. That's insane. Uh, by the way, Zero. Badouche. A badoosh, a badoosh. Three ornithopters, turn one. It's not even a joke, but I'm still doing this. Anyways. Scry the scries. Biggest diggers. Remember Monty Python? Everybody does. Sure, 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 sure. Anyways. Oh! I mean, we have to do it now. We have to do it. Put this guy down. Please. Sorry, don't have remorse stuff for that guy. No! <laughs> Why? Why, sir? You have a fading hope. Play it on the freaking Hornetopter. <laughs> no attacks. No attacks. Fine. Oh! I just wanted this guy to just be good, and he immediately just returns it on. Ah, we're playing him now. And passing turn. Yep, your turn, sir. <laughs> your turn. Biggest diggers. Four manas. By the way, if we're playing as pest control, <laughs> they printed a card which is perfect against this deck. Unfortunately. It's Tami Tamio. He can tap a creature. Oh, that Satori is not going in, he said. Well, what you did not know, mister. Or do we play the Thopterist? I think we play. This is just good, so we play this. Uh, Badoosh, Badoosh, a uh, Buffet, Bashmank, and next turn the Thopterist plus the Sinister Reflections. It's gonna be insane. Be absolutely insane. Chain of Barachnir! Can deal one damage. Man, if you had another Chain of Barachnir, would have been so good for him, okay? 
Yeah, I don't want to top this. Snowboard, that's great. Okay, put on you. <laughs> draw a card, draw a card. Let's see here. Do we play this or do we play the Snowborn? This gives the same amount. Nah, 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 nah. Man, do we do? Top the wrist, though? No, I, th I think we just do this. We draw two cards, and then we get something good. I, think. I mean, it's not horrible drawing these cards, but... Could have been better. Mm. That's it. It's a two, one, two. Oh, the, the Reach now has uh, this icon for dinguses like me. Beautiful. And this guy's menace. But if he double blocks, no, he's just going in. Just going in with these guys. The Satoru is what keeps this deck together. Man, this card was so perfect for this deck. I think it's gonna be really, really good in the other uh, deck where we only play free creatures. In the uh, Necropotence. Necropotence uh, Madness deck. I think it's gonna be insane in that deck also. So, my turn. Get another little dude. Get another little dude. Oh, I wanted to play some more. So often when we do this repeat, when we play a deck again, but now we got a new card, the new card doesn't do much. But I felt like this time. Satoru actually, you know, improved the deck a lot. Because drawing all those cards was uh, impactful, actually. So keep this. Do we turn one slam these down or do we put them down turn two? Now we have to do it turn one. Because else, yeah, else we can't attack it. Okay. Okay. Put this down, tappers. Snappers. Dappers. And bahappers. That's all I wanted to say. This small pack water, this is Demir healing. This is so strong. Okay. Put this guy down. Put this guy down. Big schmack and axe. Man, we draw the ornament of this, by the way. It's exactly what you want to see when you're playing a deck like this. Damien, though. Divest. Okay. Well, uh, artifact or creature, we don't have any of those. <laughs> you don't have any of those silly cards, sir. Yeah, why would we have those cards? That didn't make any sense. Yes, 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 Satoru, yes. <laughs> He's so good, honestly. Okay, put down this Schmackalakas, man, man. Satoru is good. Love this card. But are you you gonna go in? I was about to say so many decks. I think it's just two decks where this guy is absolutely perfect. But there might be some more decks in the future. And print more free cards. Draw another card, that would be very nice. Oh, thank you very much. And then we'll do this. One, two, three. One, two, uh, three. And a mirror box. That would be very nice. Uh, that's enough damage in there. Oh, no, he has a borrow, barrow naughty. I didn't see that guy. I didn't see that guy, but that's fine. Then let's see, man, we have an army now. An army of insane ornithopteros. Borrow time, though! It's gonna take away. Top wrist. Now there's still four sixes. Oh, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> Satoru hype! Such a good god. And we got him again! Man, Satoru is good. Man, he is my new favorite card. Two or fewer. Play this, Zero Badoosh. Badoosh, Badoosh. I maybe should have waited with this until about this guy. Uh, Triton? Milling. Mill the mills. Feed the swarm. Ah, uh, please don't do that, please. Would be nice if you never ever use that card. Badoosh. Down to 20. Please don't ever move a spell. Please don't ever move. Please don't ever move a spell. Swarm of mine and body? That could be scary. <laughs> be very scary. Get no one to the dome. And we get the Infiltrator. And we get the Ornithopter. And we draw a card. That was a lot of lands. <laughs> That's <was> horrible. <laughs> wow. So many lands. Uh, go in with this, I guess. I mean, we can always block with an Ornithopter. If he equips this. I don't even know if he's gonna equip this. Since we have the Ornithopter. He equips it. He goes for it. 4-3. We could also kill this. Protection from... 
Uh, if you kept up to war on the top, this you could, Chris. Yes, yes, yes. But I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. Didn't do that. Okay. Well, we will block. As long as he has that, at least. Okay. Ornithopter, number dos. And not a land now? Okay. Sinister Reflection, that is very, very good. Absolutely perfect. More Thopters. Oh, the card. What? With the lands? <laughs> this is insane. The landage. The landage. <laughs> how, can, how can we get every land in the deck? It's just me. Smacking with you. These were never gonna block with. So smacking with these and then we'll block with Ornithopters. I don't know. It puts down another quip or something. Maybe. I don't know. Oh! He also plays mirror box because he's a boss. He goes in. I think at this point we kind of have to block this guy. Protection from green, protection from blue. Okay, he's gone now. But, but, but then he just... What? So how good is Satoru? In a scale between 1 and 10, but you can only choose 10. <laughs> is it then 10? Per chance? Plunder is price. No Satoru, I don't know. Should we go for the mulligan? I think we do. Okay. It wasn't worth it. Wasn't worth it. That's fine. <sighs> okay, we, we keep. I just wanted another chance to get the Satoru. I just wanted another chance. Give me another chance. Sounds like a love song. Of course it is. Uh, we're gonna zero here. Badoosh. Get a Badoosh. And then we're gonna be a little bit sad because we can only get one copy of this on the top. Unless we draw again. Maybe? Muck Ruchet. No, 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 we're not. <laughs> we don't want to be stuck with the sinister reflections and not take the copy. God damn. <laughs> I think we're done. I think we're done. I think we're done. We kept a little bit of poop hand. Should maybe have double mulligan there. Or maybe we should have mulligan the first hand, you say. Sure. What did what, what, this land though? <laughs> this is insane. This is insane. Uh, I mean, if we hit like two more lands, I think maybe we'll scoop. Because I don't know that we have that great lady. And other land, okay. Maybe we'll take out some lands. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you should say, uh, maybe what you are saying here is that this happens to everybody. Everybody, sometimes you get a little bit, it's just, you know, luck of the draw, it's the randomness and all that. Sure, 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 sure. But. If there is such a thing as lizard snakes and they are controlling everything, wouldn't it then be possible that they're controlling everything? They're going out there. They're going out there. McRatchet, oh, he might, he might time out. Is that how we win? Sit there with two sinister reflections and our bonus just, just randomly scopes because he's afraid of our basic island and drowned catacombs. Might happen. We'll see. I think the, this is probably our best chance of winning this game. Honestly. Because we have nothing. Two sinister reflections and an island. What we're gonna do here, if he passes... Uh, if he times out, we're immediately gonna pass the turn. Because I think then, if he then doesn't connect, <laughs> then we, we win the game. Because he times out. Right? Gonna be a little bit sneaky. If he times out now, which he does... Okay, now he needs to time out one more, because it's his turn. Because if it was our turn... Right? Because if you time out two times, I think it auto-scoops. I think that's how it works. We can read some poetry <clears throat> while this is going on. Great time for poetry. My poetic side. In a while. We had a little bit of a rene re renaissance. Re who says it renees? I, I said renaissance. <laughs> no, no, he's back. Frack, we have no chance. We have no chance unless, I don't know, Snowborn seem... No, we can't use that because we don't have the Ornithopter. I don't even know. Thopterist, he doesn't kill it. And... Uh, I, okay, okay, I think, I think we're done. I think we're done. Unfortunate. You don't get Satoru, you lose. That's how it is. Oh, no, Satoru. It's a decent hand, though. I mean, it's a double ornithopter with Sinisters. I think we'll keep, but... That's not perfect. What if he has double removal? Then we sit there with nothing. 
Why must we suffer? Okay, exile. This, get the Orni top. It's the only thing we have, guys. Doctor, Doctor, maybe we should have played this next turn in case he has a removal spell, kind of protects a little bit, because they won't deal damage anyways. But on the other hand, if he has a discard spell, then it's better to do it this way. Or maybe I just overthink it. Temple of Cylons, though. Squying. Best ability in magics. Is it two or fewer? I always put this in so that I don't mess up. I don't put in the two or more. I think. Free with! Yes. 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 He's back. Satoru is back. Let's see here. Other than that, it's not a great hand. But we have Satoru. We're gonna we have to trust in him. Give Satoru trust. And he shall return that trust, because he's a nice guy. We have put this down on that person. Could bl No, we can't block this. It can't be blocked. It can't be blocked. He's mist cloaked. If you're cloaked in mist, you cannot be blocked. That's the rules of the jungle. Okay. Well, top twist also. Man, I kind of want to go top twist first now. Is that uh, savage? Because then we have the, th the doctor with the Satoru. Maybe this is greedy. I will see. See what happens. Dash the Stampede, Murfolk Mist Binder, Mist Cloaked Herald, and the third Murfolk is gonna be the Munich. Taps Murfolks and draw cards. A three mana one, maybe. Hardened Scales Giggity. And then plus counter on every Murfolk. No? Over the edge! Okay, just hit lands. <laughs> so the Ardent Scales didn't do anything, but that's fine. That is completely fine. And no blocks, take it. Another 14, not a problem. Get an Ornithopter. Now that battle begins now. Yes! Yes! Ornithopter! Another Ornithopter, please! Okay, I mean, that would have been a little bit good if we just... If we just drew it there, that would have been a little bit good, maybe. On the tappers. This we can safely attack in with, I think. 19. Good blockers here with the Ornithopters if he uh, decides to go in after missing on another over the edge. Savage, I know, smack talking. He couldn't really do much about that. You can't choose the order of the cards that I know. Unless you have Scry. <laughs> Unless you have Scry best ability. Okay. Forest. <sighs> Guys, it's not a forest, it's a planet. What are we doing here? Oh, so lit. Yeah, he missed cloaked. He can just go in missed cloaked. We're never blocking that. Never ever. Never ever ever. Never ever ever. Okay, put down this. Definitely exiling you. Get the Ornithopter. And then we play the Ornithopter. And we draw a card. And we play another Ornithopter. Oh my lord. I mean, this mirror box. Has to do something, right? These are 6-6 six, six now. So if we go in, that is 18 damage. We need one more. If this guy goes in, he needs a double block. And we have another Satoru. So it's fine. And we get rid of- Oh, he just- Bashnoons! Satoru. Satoru. I think I'm actually ready. I've eased up to the thought of actually trading a horse. For a Satoru. I, I'm not completely sure if this will be a good idea, but... Was I ever in the position of owning a horse and needing a Satoru? I might actually go for it. Might actually. We're gonna keep this. We don't have Satoru, so it's... Not as good as it could have been, but... It's gonna do. Yeah. Haunt of Dead Marches! Scries! Such a good ability. Printed on every freaking card in Magix. Okay. Put down this. Put down this. On the tappers. Man, when the wizards invented scrying, they were like, we're gonna milk this. <laughs> we're gonna milk this ability so much. We're gonna put it in every freaking card. This and put a plus counter on the creature. Those two abilities, they made the billions. <laughs> billions and billions for uh, Passbro and uh, Wizards of the Coast. If you cannot put plus counters, on creatures, and you could not scry, then they would be short 10 billion dollars at least. 
I'm telling you. Nasco. Okay, ring tempts you. What do you, what do, you do that? Of course, you put a plus counter on. <laughs> it's either that or scry. Okay, no blocks. We'll take it. And we get another Horn Adopter. Nice. I'll put down you. It's not the best of hands, as we've, as we've said before. It's not the best, but it's, it's what we got, you know. I have a lot of mirror boxes, though. A lot of them. I'll see. Mitskatsutsu was his name. Magic was his game. Scrying and putting plus counters was overpowered. We can block this. Th guy has death touch. Uh, whenever the ring tempts you, put a plus counter on each wraith. I think we don't want to sacrifice on the top. Now that we have a mirror box, it seems like something we want to keep. Probably. No! Oh! Ah! Lash of the Balrog! Oh! That's bad for us. It's bad. It's bad. Okay. And what do you know? Another land. Chris, who loved his lands too much. Can you love a land too much? I think you can, Gandalf. I don't know. Was that in Lord of the Rings? It probably was. It was on the page where they gave the orcs a hundred rings. <laughs> it was on the same page. Anyways. I don't know. I think we do this. And Ornithopter. Not great, but it's something. And then we do Schmacks. He's down to 11. And we have a mirror box, so... That's great. Nazgul! Ring tempts us. And we're so tempted by those rings. So tempted. And he puts a plus counter on him. Plus counter, plus counter, plus counter. Nah, he actually is outgrowing our only thoughtness by quite a lot. There. If fourth, ah, we can't block, we'll take it. Down to 12. And we just have to hope that we win there. He go in. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That was lethal. That was lethal. That was lethal. That was, that was lethal. And you are? It's -a me, the YouTube algorithm. And well, what are you doing here? I'm just here to take those of views. No, the, those are my views. Oh, I can explain to you, senor. You see, you have subs zero percent and non-subs a hundred percent. That's why you can take all your views. <laughs> I guess it's time that you uh, check out a little. The thing down there.